بسم الله الرحمن الرحیم الحمد لله رب العالمین و صلی الله علی محمد و آله الطاهرین الطیبین القدات المهدیین سیما بقیت الله فی الارضین جا الله فرجب شد In the name of Allah, the compassionate, the merciful, first of all, I'd like to welcome all of you to Islamic Republic of Iran. And I hope that this short journey will be a good experience for you. And your short stay here will be a great step towards a better image about Iran and Islam and our special interpretation about Islam that we think it is the core of the idea of Islam. You have discussed in this course the issue of rationality in Islam, and my approach to this issue is totally different from what you've heard till now. I just want to show a rational image of Islam based on a special theory that I introduced this theory more than 20 years ago. And I think it can be a better way for understanding Islam and for answering different questions in different fields about Islam. I've called this theory systematic thought theory in Islam. And during these 20 years, I've tried to implement this theory in different fields, such as economics, politics, art, bioethics, and different other fields, such as management. And there were some special courses and some special researches in different centers inside and outside Iran based on this theory, and some theses in PhD and master degree have been written based on this theory in different fields such as economics and politics and also management. And some of the national researches in Iran have been done based on this theory, such as one research about the uh, management of Imam Khomeini, which have been done based on this theory, something about uh, 15 years ago. and. Uh, was one of the national researchers in Iran. This theory, just as a glance of this, uh, says that in each field of uh, human issues, you can find different sets of Islamic ideas and the notions that these ideas are related in a special system to each other. The main elements of the Islamic idea in each field, I have differentiated them into four categories. Philosophy, ethics, doctrine, and system. And based on them, there is also a legal system, which is the implementation of doctrine and system in, a in the legal atmosphere. Based on this theory, as I said, in each field, for example, in, just as a sample, in the field of economics, we will find philosophy, ethics, doctrine and system and legal system for the Islam. And these issues are all universal. It means that it is not related to a special condition, to a special piece of land or part of time. And also there are some other issues in Islam that are related to the condition that Islam is implemented. For example, at the time of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, he has implemented these notions in his own era based on the characteristics which were living, which were existing at that time. And based on this idea, there are